Hey guys, so today I decided to do something different and I decided that uh, I kind of wanted to do a playthrough of this game called Frostpunk um, which is what you're seeing right here it, essentially um, in the year 1886 I, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this game so people don't die uh, in the year 1886 there was this massive um, a new ice age came in basically. There was an eruption of a volcano, which is is based off a of real life uh, volcanic eruption that caused global cooling around that time. And essentially, what they did was they took it, and they were like, "What? If there was a new ice age." So you play as these bunch of people. They're from the United Kingdom, I believe, and they set out north because there were coal piles, which I think are somewhere yeah, right over here and some over here. And of course, you know, outside this crater. And they found this uh, this gas thing, this generator here, uh, and then they decided that they would settle down here. So, essentially, where we are is that these guys are decided to go north instead of south, and uh, you play as the captain or the mayor, essentially of, of of this town, and your job is to make sure people don't die. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try and go about three-ish days. We're about um, 8.40. So we, we started the first day. Um, and I'll probably stop at day four. And then we got a couple things to tackle after that. And this is my first attempt at a playthrough. I've never really done a Let's Play before. And I figured this would be a good game because, like, uh, there is... There are things that can go wrong. So you're not just watching, like, straight-up creativity. Uh, and usually when I'm trying to be creative, I'm very hard for me to talk anyway so you know let's do it let's let's give it a shot I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna press uh, play I skipped the the intro just so you know that it's like about five minutes long I didn't want and I really just wanted to not have it this video be too long um, I have played this before um, on and off but not too much I think what I want to do is real quick where are we? Let's go over here. Let's go get a couple people for steel. Here. Get some guys getting some wood, right? I think that's how you do it. Yeah, they, there they go. The whole squad. I can't zoom any further. What a name. Okay, so we have like a decent group of people like from different areas of the world. We have about 80 people who are homeless right now. Actually, I think if I go here, I can create. Oh, there we go. Yep. Create some tents. We're gonna go create about three tents, three sets of tents. And these guys are gonna go and build it for themselves. And we're gonna speed up some speed stuff. Awful tad bit. I don't want it to, you know, go on forever, of course. And you know, there's still things that need to get done. But I also don't want it to go too fast. Cool, the houses are done and they fill up with snow really, really fast. <laughs> it's not even snowing right now. It's just... They grow snow on top of the, the rooftops. It's just like, whoop! Snow. Now they're walking kind of fast. So we're about... Uh, we're gonna slow down a little bit. This is about 2 o'clock. Almost running into 3. And... Uh, you know what we should do, actually? Speaking of... Can I get some of this stuff? Got a couple people here. Six coal an hour. Yeah. Oh, maybe here. Let's let's brush this off a little bit. Um, we still have 50 people without any jobs, but or without any houses. But before we build houses, there are a couple things I can do. I'm gonna build a road uh, about till here. We'll cross it out, and then we can try and build more tents around here. Yeah, this is a. Uh, I've been playing this on and off, really, but not like. But I mean on and off. I I, I really mean like. Like over a couple months, <laughs> so I don't remember. Yeah, I'll provide some, some shelters. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, I've seen that thing too many times. We're just gonna go put. Uh, we got the houses over here. We we'll probably get another house here. I think. So I have good news and bad news for these people, um, depending on 
how much this is. So we have about 50 on <laughs> list. So this this house is how many people? Uh, about 10. Ooh, I can get another 10. Okay, okay. Do that. <laughs> yeah, what is. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. The heating is off. You must get. Well, we have coal. No, no, no. So it, it essentially, what's going to end up happening is these guys are going to get finished building, which should put us down to 30 people homeless, which is great. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thank you, random person. I hope you actually have a house to live in for the night. Because at the end of this, about 30-ish people will not. Which kind of begs the question. Damn, these guys take forever to build these houses, man. Wow. Alright, anyways, we're gonna go yeah, a, little, a little fast forward, fast forward. I mean, they seem to be fine so far. Uh, oh, I'm gonna pause this real quick. Uh, we have no play at normal speed. Holy crap, that's a lot of people. Simon, Frederick, uh, Emma, and Rebecca. Just kinda, they're all just kind of hanging out. Very low risk of getting ill. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll start this up. Oh, not start it up, not shut it down. Okay. Can I go any higher? No. This should be enough to carry it into the night. Um, I'm not entirely sure how fast it works, but if you're looking at the rate it's currently going, <laughs> I don't think it will last in the night. <laughs> we already have some of this safe. Zero gravity though. Who's safe? Helen! Oh, she's got two children too. That's an F in the chat. Oh man, that's tough. Yeah, we do not like to see that. We're already at four. We have no coal left. Oh wow. I probably should have sent them to get coal sooner. Uh, but why would I? That makes too much sense. That makes way too much sense. You have two wood. About 20 steel and one steam core. Oh, okay, that's food. We're out of coal. Oh, that's not good, is it? Yeah, this thing's about to turn off. Oh, yeah, you know what? It'll last. It war it burns up and it will it will last for a little bit, which is nice, I think. Uh, I think that's actually really nice. Uh, we already have a street around here too. Really interesting. That was, can I build anything? I can't build anything anyway, so we're, gonna, we're just gonna fast forward a little bit. Don't want to waste too much time. Uh, here we go to the night. We have a couple more people. I think at five it stops running it, if I remember correctly. So the first night we only had four sick people, which is nice. We're off to a great start. Um, I think we'll hit a fast game speed so we can kind of get it sooner. This thing actually lasted the whole night, which is good news. Because what I'm about to do is we're gonna add a couple more people here. We're gonna get some like about ten-ish people to work on that. Maybe get some more people here. How many people are here? Five. Uh, I don't know if we need steel, but we got people working on it. We gotta get some wood and maybe ooh, some wood over here too. Screw it. Let's go. The number of sick is rising, and we do not have enough materials to build a medical for, uh, post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. I think I'm gonna go with not now. Uh, I just there's no need to put in a law, you know, right now. I think it's kind of like survival of the fittest type thing. We're gonna go speed it up a little bit too here. Heating is off, generator is down, which makes sense, but it's daytime and the temperature has has not changed. <laughs> there was the whole point of that. Alright, we got some wood. Alright, we can get some more houses here for people. Um, maybe we'll go here, and then we can probably go another house here. And then, how much wood do we have? Five? I think we can do is we can put the street about. Yeah, there we go. Cross it out so they can start working on it. 
Uh, we have about 30 coal. That should last us for a while. I mean, it's only 10 a.m., so we can get some more coal. We can probably get some more people working on here, actually. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's get, let's max it out. 15 people. About 15 coal. Everyone feels relief with the roof, even with the flapping one over their head. Oh, that was uh, the, the challenge that I said I would do. Yeah, you know I got you guys. I mean, yes, I let four of you get sick. I'm just still four of you that do not have houses, but... Do it be like that? Yeah, I think it's fine. I think we're also doing... We're going to build a, a road here. Up to... Nine wood. Yeah. I think they can build that. I think what I want to do is, because I know we can build other stuff, like medical posts, cookhouse, hunt. Yeah, we do have to build these things as, as, as time essentially kind of goes forward. Okay, that's done. So what we can do is we can put a medical post right here. And then I'm also going to probably put a hunter's hut. Can I do this? Yeah, I'm going to put it right around here. That's fantastic. Maybe another one of these things. Oh, we can't actually. Never mind. We're at 17.22, so we're about hitting 6-ish. Or, not 6, what am I doing? Now we're 6. <laughs> I, I can do math in my head, guys. I, I can subtract 12 from things that need to be subtracted 12 from. Alright, so we have this thing built. Oh, what does it say? Heating is off. Yeah, I know that. People are afraid to freeze to death. Hey, y'all have houses? Y'all have houses. I think over here. Do I have to max people? Is it inoperative? Oh, here. Take five of my engineers and go go, go heal sick people. Uh, we're probably going to get a couple people here too to go uh, hunting. They're fast with that stuff. Do we have any workers available? We don't. I think what I'll do is I'll cut some here. And then I'll probably cut some here-ish. Maybe. I don't really want to cut workers from places. Nah, we'll keep you over here. So we're going to probably add... There you go. That gives us six uh, raw food per day. Don't need to build anything else, I don't think. I mean, wait, what is this? Oh, Book of Laws, no. We're gonna go here, we'll probably have to run this past real quick, too. And then we're we'll probably, when it hits 24, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn, oh, nobody's ill. Look at that, look at that, guys. We're gonna have to we'll turn you on real quick. Uh, so essentially these things are not heated. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Three sick? What? How? How are you sick? What do you gain from this? Alright, maybe we'll probably put like a cookers, cookhouse over here. And then we might actually build a row here too, just like, because it's already here. Oh, I actually don't have enough wood to build the road anyways. So in the morning, when it hits 5, we're probably going to speed this up again a little bit. Yeah, I don't want this video going for too long, so let's get to work. We can't let up now. Thank you, Nidoro. We're doing fine, all things considered. Yes, Leander. Yes. I think so too. Yeah, and then, you know, in, in my first playthrough of this, um, in the first day, 15 people died because I didn't get enough enough coal. And there were just, like, bodies lying around. I had to build a graveyard and everything, and I was like, oh, that, that, is that how things are going to be? And I guess they were. But it was fine because then that way I had to build fewer houses and worry about fewer people. I'll probably put a house, a bunch of houses over here. Um, like, probably put, like, the big stuff around here and then... Um, yeah, we gotta be able to see. We got 29 wood. What I can do is, I do want to build this avenue again. So we'll probably put, go up to like here. Yeah, right there. And I'm sure 
we have some workers who are willing to build us a street here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna be fine, I think. Hey, how far did this go? Did I take this one? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get people to get mess mess off. We have no employees available. Alright, first things first. It's time to lower you a little bit. We gotta get some mess hall employees up in the stuff because we don't have anybody working. <laughs> we'll cut down the wood. Coal is fine, I think. We got two. Where did everybody go? We just need like three of these guys. There we go, okay. Now we can start. Bet. I mean, I feel like that was cheating to pause the time. You know what? In the next playthrough, I refuse to pause the time. I won't. Or in the next playthrough, I mean the next episode. And I think what I'm going to do too here is build another hunter's hunt. Uh, the generator hunt is reassuring warm, but shouldn't be taken. Oh my god, I've got to turn it off! Build a beacon, scout frostland, save as many survivors from our expedition as possible, and need a workshop. Oh, shit. No! It's been running the whole time? No! <gasps> Why? Why? Man. Ain't that something, huh? Just when you think you know somebody. Wow, 13 people are hungry, 5 people are sick, they're building, going to eat, okay. I mean, we have a medical post, guys, you could just go here. No, not you. You're not a medical post. We've got, we got 5, okay, we have some people there. Er, uh, probably put, we need work, it's okay. There we go. So now we have is max hunters. We can get some food going in. Um, <laughs> I'm turning this off as if I'm not about to go turn this back on. <laughs> like, like now. All right, so we're gonna go normal-ish. I think that's gonna do it for this uh, this uh, video. I think the next one what I'll do is we're going to. I'm not totally sure what I want to do for the next one. I think I'm, I'm, I'll start this up. I'll start this up. Just for now. And we're going to continue building this road or over here. Maybe to add a couple of things. I know we, I keep hitting this wrong thing. Construction. Uh, we could probably add like a gathering post or a resource depot somewhere. I know a workshop needs to be made so we can contact people from the other expedition. But there's still stuff to do. And on top of that, um, day four is supposed to be temperature will drop significantly and we'll also have a day six temperature rise so i think in the next episode we will tackle that one that's going to do it for this one hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will catch you in the next one thanks for watching